Eileen, uh, most of the patients, by the time that they are diagnosed with uh, pancreatic cancer, the disease has spread, the disease may be relatively advanced. How do we diagnose nowadays pancreatic cancer? And can you comment also if there's anything in the horizon that would increase you know, the likelihood of making the early diagnosis for pancreatic cancer? So, so for many, the symptoms of uh, decreased appetite, weight loss, sometimes mm -hmm. back pain or jaundice will prompt abdominal imaging as the initial step to try and uh, get at the underlying problem. So an abdominal ultrasound, and often that will show dilated uh, bile ducts uh, consistent with jaundice. And sometimes one will see a mass at the head of the pancreas, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes not because of gas in the bowel. A usual next step where the suspicion is high that there may be an underlying pancreas malignancy would be a contrast enhanced CT scan which has several values so it can look at the pancreas itself and if a tumor is identified you can look at the relationship of that tumor to the blood vessels mm -hmm. and hint at whether or not the cancer may be operable. And the other value is screening for metastatic disease, in particular in the liver, looking at the inner lining of the abdominal cavity and lungs. And then additional tests, if you see a mass in the pancreas, would be in your area, an endoscopic ultrasound, mm -hmm. uh, fine little ultrasound probe at the end of a, an endoscopy um, instrument, and visualizing directly the pancreas, and putting a fine needle into the pancreas, and getting tissue uh, to secure a diagnosis. Or occasionally, if we see metastasis or spread of the cancer in the liver, or the abdominal cavity, we'll ask our interventional radiology colleagues to do a biopsy guided by either ultrasound or CT uh, to secure a diagnosis. Excellent.